Welcome to the Build Your Reiki Business Podcast. I'm Christian of Standing Stones Healing, founder of the Reiki Business Collective and creator of the Build Your Reiki Business Program. Sending blessings and best wishes to your Reiki business. Greetings, welcome, and thanks so much for tuning in to this week's episode of the Build Your Reiki Business Podcast. I'm Christian of Standing Stones Healing. Of course, as always, I'm honored and grateful to have you here, so thank you so very much. In this week's episode, we're doing something a little different. My book, Reiki Business Ready, is almost ready, but it is ready for pre-order. I'm very excited excited to bring this book to you and to offer it to encourage your Reiki business journey. So the book is Reiki Business Ready, Six Ways to Know You're Ready for a Reiki Business. And it is a great book for anyone considering starting a Reiki business, curious to know what it takes to have a successful Reiki business, and wondering if now is the time to start. And so Reiki Business Ready, is there to support you with lots of bonus content, some awesome things, and it is available right now at a very special pre-order price. Now, the book itself is going to be available on September 7th. I'm putting the finishing touches on the manuscript, and uh, it will be ready to go for September 7th, but right now, you can order it at a very special jaw-dropping, it's so jaw dropping, I can't even say it right, (laughs) Uh, pre-order price. You can learn more at standingstoneshealing.com slash ready and order your copy today. But in today's episode, I am going to read a selection of the book so that you can get an idea of what it's all about. So again, learn more, get your copy at standingstoneshealing.com slash ready. Reiki Business Ready, six ways to know you are ready for a Reiki business. Thank you. Reiki Business Ready, six ways to know you are ready for a Reiki business. Dedication to Reiki practitioners everywhere. Thank you for being a welcoming and supportive community. The light in me honors the light in you. Let's share resources support one another, and serve the world with Reiki. Preface Welcome, and thank you for being here. I'm Christian Stone, and I'm honored and excited to help you get Reiki business ready. I've been a Reiki practitioner since 2014, and offer both online and in-person Reiki, card reading, coaching, and courses. I also founded the Reiki Business Collective, host the Build Your Reiki Business podcast, and created Build Your Reiki Business, the world's most comprehensive Reiki business membership program. I'll share parts of my Reiki business journey throughout the book, but Reiki Business Ready isn't about my journey. It's about helping you determine if you're ready to start your Reiki business, if it's time to do it, and how to get ready if it's not. I'm intuitive, and maybe you are too, but I don't need a crystal ball to guess a few things about you. Like me, you're probably also a Reiki practitioner. It's okay if you're not, you're welcome here too. You probably also know how transformative Reiki is, and have personally experienced the power of Reiki too. And I bet Reiki has had a positive impact on your life, like it's had a positive impact on my life. After hundreds of Reiki clients and students, I also know the profound impact it can have on others. Probably also like you, I believe that the world needs more presence, mindfulness, compassion, connection, growth, and healing. I believe this is possible with Reiki. That's why my mission is to help build 10,000 Reiki businesses for a better world. I know you want a better world, too. 
So I don't need a crystal ball to know that you feel called to bring the power of Reiki to others and why you do. I started a Reiki business to help others, and I bet you want to help others with Reiki too. You wouldn't be reading a book called Reiki Business Ready if you didn't believe in a better world. In this book, I'll share with you six ways, plus a bonus seventh way, to know if you're ready to start your Reiki business and to help you get ready if now isn't the right time. I'll talk about my own Reiki business journey, share stories from other Reiki practitioners, offer insider information on what it really takes to be Reiki business ready, and give you actionable steps to prepare for your Reiki business dreams. By the end of this book, you'll know whether or not you're ready to start your Reiki business and what steps to take if you're not quite there yet. Reiki truly can bring us more presence, connection, growth, and healing. It's time for a better world. Let's get you ready to start your Reiki business. Thank you for being here. It's an honor to have you join me. Blessings to a better world. Christian. P.S. Reiki Business Ready includes additional free bonus content that you won't want to miss, including the audiobook version, a workbook full of supplemental resources, and a recording of Reiki Business Affirmations with themes from the book. Don't miss out on all of these amazing extras. Make sure to grab them. They're yours free as a thank you for joining me. Thank you. Introduction. Are you Reiki business ready? This book starts with the question, are you Reiki business ready? Because our Reiki business journey always begins with questions. Questions like, do I have what it takes to start a Reiki business? Will my sessions be helpful and impactful? Will anyone purchase my products or services? Can I really make money from Reiki? And is that even appropriate? And then, after we consider those questions, more questions are on the way. How do I start? What do I need to do? Will I miss a step or make a mistake? If you are having these kinds of questions as you contemplate starting a Reiki business, you're in a lot of company because they are normal, common, and even expected as we consider building a Reiki business. But let's ask the most basic question first. What exactly is a Reiki business? Here's how I define it. A Reiki business is receiving money in exchange for anything having to do with Reiki. We typically imagine a Reiki business as the traditional service-based model of Reiki sessions in an office setting. But Reiki business encompasses so much more. I know many Reiki business owners who don't offer Reiki sessions at all and instead focus their business on teaching, selling products, or writing. We can also have a Reiki business that combines all of these and more. Quite simply, having a Reiki business means we receive money in exchange for anything Reiki related. We'll talk more about this simple definition of a Reiki business later in the book, but it's important for you to know that no matter what your vision for your Reiki business is, I'll help you determine if it's time to stop considering and start building. Questions form the building blocks of our Reiki business, and if you're asking yourself all of the typical questions we Reiki practitioners ask when we consider starting a Reiki business, this book will offer some answers. I'll share with you six ways to know if you're ready to start building your Reiki business. These ways not only help you to determine if it's time to start your Reiki business and if you're ready, but they also form a solid foundation for the building of your Reiki business when the time is right. Stick around to the end where I'll share three ways to know you're ready that aren't on the list because you don't need them. The answers might surprise you. This book can't cover everything there is to know about Reiki business, but it's a great place to start. 
It's also the first of multiple Reiki business books to support you in building a successful Reiki business. At the end of this book, you'll have a good idea of whether or not you're ready to start a Reiki business. And if you decide you're not ready yet, you'll have six things to focus on to help prepare yourself for that time. If you're thinking of starting a Reiki business or you're ready to begin building, it's a great time. The world needs more presence, more awareness, more mindfulness, compassion, connection, growth, and healing. I believe this is possible with Reiki. But why Reiki? There are plenty of ways to create a better world. Decrease poverty, increase environmental protections, supply food and water for everyone, improve health care, banish war, any and all of these things would help create a better world. So what can Reiki do? First, let's admit that Reiki is a solution of privilege. It cannot turn dirt into bread for the starving. It won't eliminate poverty, provide a universal health care solution, or stop global warming and climate change. Reiki is not the best immediate response to dire physical, mental, or emotional needs like dehydration, heart attack, or hallucinations. But the system of Reiki has the power to bring more connection presence, and mindfulness to our own personal lives, which can and does have an impact on the lives of those around us. As we practice Reiki, and as we share Reiki with clients and students, we can create a powerful ripple effect that can help bring more connection to a divided world, more mindfulness to a distracted world, and more healing to a hurting world. There is so much division, distraction, and hurting in our world, and we need solutions. Reiki might not be a quick solution, and Reiki may not create a better world right away, but I've seen firsthand the impact, the positive impact, Reiki has on individual lives. My guess is you have too. If we can bring connection, mindfulness, and healing to more lives, who can then bring it to more and more lives, imagine the shift that 10,000 Reiki businesses can create. Imagine a world with more presence, compassion, kindness, and peace. This is a world in which we are better able to navigate individual and global challenges and solve our most persistent issues. Reiki can't solve everything, and it can't do it quickly, but the world needs more presence, more awareness, more mindfulness, compassion, connection, growth, and healing. The world needs your Reiki business. Yes, we need you now more than ever. It's time for a better world. Let's build. Chapter 1. You are level 2 or higher. When I became a Reiki practitioner in 2014, it was for my own spiritual and personal development. I had been invested in spiritual topics for quite some time, had been a card reader for a couple of years, and was always reading, attending lectures, and taking courses for my personal growth. I undertook Reiki training as part of that deep personal devotion to spirituality, and I never thought that I would have a Reiki business. It wasn't something I was even remotely considering during my training. At the time, I was a career coach and English professor at a community college with a solid career. So when my Reiki teachers discussed starting a business during my level 3 training, I listened and paid attention, but I didn't think the information would ever apply to me. Obviously, I was wrong. <laughs> when some Reiki practitioners consider starting a business, they often have the mistaken belief that they need to be at level 3 in order to start a Reiki business. Depending on the lineage, level 3, or Shinpiden, is known as the master or teacher level. Over the years, I've had many Reiki mentees tell me 
I want to start my Reiki business after I get my master level. They're waiting to start their Reiki business until after level three because they believe they need to have completed level three in order to start. But the truth is you don't need to wait and you can indeed start your Reiki business before level three. There are many Reiki business owners without level three training and some teachers even require potential students to have proof of a Reiki business with a certain number of client hours before accepting them into their Shinpiden training. If you have been operating under the belief that you need to complete level three before you can start a Reiki business, you're not alone. Several years ago, I met with a level two mentee who had the great desire to take level three so she could start her Reiki business. Sarah was offering Reiki to friends, family, and friends of friends every weekend and was passionate about helping people with Reiki. She knew without a doubt she wanted to build her own Reiki business and help even more people. But she didn't have the money to pay for level three. She believed she needed to complete level three before she could start her Reiki business because her past teachers, of course, were level three and she assumed this is what she had to do too. She wondered if I had any ideas about how she could find a low cost level three training. My answer? Start charging. I encourage Sarah to start charging for her weekend sessions, even if it was just a fraction of what she might charge for a session once she officially started her business. This way, she could earn the money she needed to pay for her Level 3 training. But Sarah also didn't need to wait until Level 3 to start a Reiki business. Don't you have to finish all of the training first? she asked. No, she could start her Reiki business right, right where she was at level two. You can too. The three levels of Reiki. Each of the three levels of Reiki training vary based on the lineage and or teacher, but generally at level one or Shoden, new practitioners learn Reiki basics, including the system's history, the principles, and hand positions. At this level, some practitioners are encouraged to focus on self-Reiki, while others are taught how to offer Reiki to others. This depends on the lineage slash teacher, and I personally was taught, encourage, and teach focusing on self-Reiki at level one in order to focus first and foremost on ourselves and form a self-practice. At level two, or Okuden, practitioners learn the distance symbol and distance Reiki techniques. Depending on the teacher slash lineage, some practitioners may learn all three symbols and some may learn only the distance symbol because some teachers teach the first two Reiki symbols at level one. But there is wide consensus that distance Reiki is learned at level two. Level three or Shinpiden is where practitioners learn the master symbol, deepen their understanding of the practice and are trained to varying degrees on how to teach Reiki. The traditional Yusui system was not further broken down into levels 3A, 3B, or 4, which separate master practitioner from master teacher. But today, some trainings offer teacher training separately from other level 3 teachings. No matter what kind of training we might receive, though, there is no requirement to complete all three levels of Reiki before starting a Reiki business. Like Sarah, you too can start a Reiki business before completing level three. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of the Build Your Reiki Business podcast. Thank you for listening as I read from the forthcoming Reiki Business Ready book. You can learn more at standingstoneshealing.com slash ready and pre-order your own copy. Remember, it comes with a lot of amazing bonuses as well. And yes, it is available across all Amazon marketplaces. So no matter where you are in the world, no matter which Amazon you use, you can indeed grab Reiki Business Ready for yourself. Well, of course, as always, I'm sending so many blessings and best wishes to your 
Reiki business. Thanks for tuning in to the Build Your Reiki Business podcast. Please like, share, subscribe, and send to a friend. Learn more about the Build Your Reiki Business program at standingstoneshealing.com slash build. Sending blessings and best wishes to your Reiki business.